guys, Marley here, and welcome back to another video. Today I am doing something kind of different because again, I didn't really want to play The Sims 4, and today we are going to discover which Sims 4 townie makes the cutest babies. Boom, 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 boom. Um, I'm going about this very scientifically. I'm trying to provide to you uh, an entire list of Sims 4 townie babies so that you can maybe know which townies you would like to breed with in the future. Um, I kind of got this idea a little bit inspired by Claire Siobhan. She does videos like this where she breeds with townies, where she gives them makeovers and says which one's cuter. Uh, but this is still original. So if you enjoy the video, please give me a like. Please um, keep coming back. We'd love to have you. If you didn't enjoy it, let me know that too down below. Tell me why you didn't enjoy it. Constructive criticism, always a good thing. And anyway, let's get on to the video. Okay guys, so we are in. We have two generic sims that I pulled off the gallery. I gave them um, just like mid-level skin tones and then just like mid-level hair colors because I feel like that's fair. So that they're not, I don't want them to give anything to the kids, you know? I want the kids to really like get it from the, the towny parent. Um, but generic features are subjective. So I just want to give them something that wouldn't be like very overwhelming. Like I didn't want to use like Vladimir Strauss because uh, they would all have the nose, you know? But, so we are using Generic Sim, the girl, and also this guy, he was tagged Generic Sim. He is Generic Sim, the boy. I changed him to have just brown eyes, brown hair, and tan skin. Just so it would be even across the board. Um, and we are going to breed them today. I have picked five townies that I think might make cute babies, and we are going to test it out. If you guys would like to see more of this, let me know. Let me know five other townies you would like to see next time. But let's get into it. Our first townie is, you know her, you love her, Eliza Pancakes. Now, Eliza is pretty cute. Um, I, I don't see a problem with Eliza. She looks like Lil Simsy. I love Lil Simsy. And we're going to breed her today with our generic man. And then we're going to give her child a makeover and brutally compare it to the other five children we create today. So let's go. Generic man and Eliza. Um, I think we'll go ahead and just start them as a teen. We'll randomize it three times. And I'm going to do them all as daughters today. Um, just to be fair, so we're looking at the same thing. Maybe next time we'll do sons. Let me know if you'd like a boy's version of the challenge. We're going to go one, two, three. And what do they look like? Oof, they got Eliza's red hair. Let's go. Um, so our Eliza Pancakes baby is going to be called Dana Pancakes. She is, um, neat. We're going to make her a young adult, actually. That's just easier. She is mean, vegetarian, gloomy, and she'll be athletic. Okay, let's go ahead. Wow. Uh, first impression, Dana's beautiful. Um, I don't see a lot of Eliza in her, so that's a problem. Maybe our generic man is not generic enough. But Dana is a beautiful. I'm going to give her some quick CC. Um, what is this? Just nipples? Does this just give me nipples? Well, that, I don't have, I don't get monetized anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, I'm going to go someday. I really like the someday skin. It's one of my favorites. And let's just give her some CC hair. Uh, we'll pick a cute one. Um, I like this. She does have blue green eyes. She must have gotten that from Eliza. And her, she's very thin, very thin. Um, and I like this outfit, actually. We'll just change the color of the shoes. Ooh, let's give her Converse. Ooh, ooh, Galaxy Converse. That works for me. That really, that does something for me. Uh, which ones are Galaxy? Yes, this is her. Dana Pancakes, our first tester sim. I think that she is absolutely beautiful. Um, she just, she has, like, a very strong jaw, and just like very like average face i like it a lot so this is dana pancakes eliza pancakes coming in as a strong competitor so the next time that i thought would probably have pretty cute babies is don thorough don thorough is an asshole but we can't admit that he has a nice face so today don will be breeding with our generic woman sim and we will be seeing his daughter to see if she is more beautiful than Dana Pancakes. I don't know if we can beat Dana. Dana? I'm gonna say Dana. I don't know if we can beat Dana Pancakes. She was a really good contender right out of the gate. Oof. And she is... I cannot tell because she's got some weird stuff going on. Okay, let's remove the accessories and the weird hair. 
and we'll go ahead and give her better eyebrows. Um, let me just, the, her, the arch of her eyebrow is like directly in the middle and I just feel like that's wrong. So I'm just gonna give her one of those. Oof, wait, why did she age up and what happened to her chin when she aged up? Okay, so do you see her teenage face? Very pretty. Um, she looks really good. I, I like it a lot. And then look what happens when you age her up. Uh, okay. Okay, let's put the someday skin on her. And, oh, it looks bad on her. Oh, I don't like it on her at all. I like that one. That one gives her some texture. It makes her look real. It gives a little bag under the eye. I think that it looks really nice. She is pretty. Okay, she's not ugly. I'm not saying that. I want something that, I want maybe bangs. I think bangs will help. She does suit a short hairstyle very well. Um, but I think bangs here will be the move. Yeah, do you see that like gives it like nice framing of the face. Uh, a lot of these accessories are courtesy of my friend Nick. As you guys know, we did that video together, a little collab. Yeah, yeah, that's cute. Maybe she's like more like high fashion. Um, I, I like her. I like that armband thing she's wearing. We could keep that. Um, we'll get rid of this. She looks actually, she looks really like ethereal. Like she looks like she lives in the woods and like hangs out with squirrels. And then maybe give her like some tattoos on one arm. She's giving me mad, like ethereal, like I live in the forest vibes. Um, and she turned out more beautiful than I thought. She is going to be unflirty, slob, eco, something, green fiend. And her aspiration is gonna be big happy family and um, Alexandria Lothario. Oof, okay. She could be a contender for my favorite. That name really tied it all together. Her face looks like an Alexandria. She looks like a goddess. You know what? I changed my mind. I love her. Let's save her and go to the next sim. All right, guys. For number three, we have none other than Mr. Salim Benali. I chose him because I think he's really cute. I, I like his look a lot. I think that he's cute. Um, look at him under the facial hair. Like I, like, I think that's a good looking man. You know, maybe not everyone's type. But I'm, I'm definitely into it. I'm definitely feeling it. I think he's cute. And he's a more, um, maybe Western Asian inspired sim. Um, especially with the name. And I think that we need that representation. Okay, let's see what we got. She has kind of a, like, punk style right off the gate. Um, a nose ring. I like it. She's suffering a little bit from the nose chin syndrome. But maybe we can... Make her into a young adult, maybe it'll help. It did. Turning her into it. Have they changed that recently? Have they made it from when you go to teen to young adult, there's more changes? Because I swear the face is used to not change at all. Um, am I crazy? Let me know in the comments below. She has her dad's nose, which I think is super cute. Uh, Lori, Lori Benali. She is ambitious, squeamish, and cheerful. And I'm gonna give her, close my eyes, eh. Okay. Eh, so she wants to be a musical genius. Um, let's give her a design. I like her kind of like punk look. I want to change these eyebrows. I need to get some custom content eyebrows. I know, I know. But it's just so much effort to download custom content. And, you know, I don't like to put in effort. Okay, she's different than the other two so far, but different doesn't mean worse. Let's get some CC on her. Skin details are so hard for me. I feel like I go through a bunch of them and I'm like, yeah, they all look fine. Oh, this is like more realistic body for bigger sims. So it gives you like, just like some like wrinkles and stuff, which I like. Yeah, that works for me. I think she's very pretty. Let's give her some eyelashes. And then she kind of, ooh, wait, let's give her some bigger eyelashes. Yeah, look at that. She's kind of had like a punk thing going on with the nose ring. So let's really lean into it and give her maybe some like pretty intense makeup. What is this? Eye shine? Um, okay, this isn't what I wanted. But I do want to give her some, like, kind of, like, yeah, like that, like, intense makeup. And then, like, do we have any contour? Oh, no, we have e-girl blushies. I do like them. Uh, I didn't know that I downloaded them, but they're pretty cute. Maybe I downloaded, like, ooh, we could give her teary eyes from Size of Life. Um, we're not gonna, but we could if we wanted to. Maybe some highlights? Maybe some less intense highlights? Are they all intense? Ooh, I don't mind that one. It really accentuates her button nose like this. I like that. And then maybe some lipstick. What are these that I downloaded? 
See, sometimes I download custom content, I don't even remember. Those are like more realistic lips, I think. Um, which, eh, eh, not feeling it. Oh, I like that. Um, maybe in a darker color. Because she's kind of punky. Yeah, like that. Yeah, she's pretty, guys. Again, I had, I didn't have high hopes, but she's really surprising me. Um, she gives me just like, oof, she looks real, and I like that a lot. I really like when a sim looks real, and like looks like they could exist in real life. Um, yeah, that's nice. That's a nice hairstyle. And then I'll probably keep her outfit. I've been keeping all the outfits. Um, oh, I don't know why I just started dragging her legs. Okay, <laughs> my bad. Um, that's like, I don't know, that's like force of habit, and I don't even mind the red, like, combat boots. I think that it all works. So, this is Lori Benali, uh, another, another strong contender. Maybe we're just learning that all the Sims townies make beautiful babies. I don't know. Was uh, Is that the moral of the story all along? That we should stop pitting women against each other? Um, actually, I'm pitting a lot of men against each other. <laughs> but I don't know. Because so far, all of them have been super cute. Okay, guys. So, our next Sim I have extremely high hopes for because she is a beautiful... Her name is Miss Octavia Moon. You know her. You love her. She's famous. She's a star. And we're going to give her some babies today. Okay. I already see some issues. So we have Miss Alyssa Moon. She is not going to be this. She's going to be this. Will she get a chin? She will get a chin. Making them into young adults is really helping. I really didn't know that that happened. And I do think she suits the short hair it's giving her. But let's put on skin details first. And just, like, test it out. Skin details really do make everyone look prettier. Um, to an extent. Oh, I like this. I like this a lot. I'm leaving it. First try, all a winner. Uh, we need eyelashes. Mm, those might be too much. Maybe just these. I think I have these that go forward more. Yes, I like it. Um, her eyebrows, actually, I don't mind. I think that they work for her face. Her face is very short, so you don't want to go too thick on the eyebrow. Um, and I think that for hair, we're going to want something with, like, a hairline that's, like, farther back. So that's what we're looking for. Ooh, the curly hair really suits her. That's a really good look for her. Uh, I don't think bangs. I don't think we're going to go for bangs. I think that bangs make her face look shorter than it is already because it already is kind of short. But she is the daughter of, like, a superstar, so I think she'd be really, like, elegant and glam. So that's kind of look I want to go for. She got the hair color from generic sim and not from her mom. But, you know, that, that is that is to be expected. She definitely has her mom's face a lot. Okay, I really like this one. I like this one a lot. And if we do, like, a more toned-down color, I think that it will look like it belongs just in real life and not in, like, a costume. Um, and then we'll grab her some, like, just, like, these shoes are actually kind of nice, but maybe in, like, a brown. Yeah, it's kind of like a 70s look, but she looks very classy and, like, beautiful. Okay, Alyssa Moon. She looks wonderful. Um, yes, I think that if you want to have babies with Octavia Moon, it's a good choice. Let's save her to the gallery and move on to our last and final sim. Okay, guys, so our last and final sim is someone who you guys may not recognize right off the bat. Um, this here is Mr. George Cawhill from Strangerville. Um, and look, I, I don't want to expose myself here, but, like, I'm into it. <laughs> I can't explain why, um, but I think he's handsome, especially if he just leave his helmet on. Like, that's a handsome man. Like, he could take me in an airplane, you know? And, you know, I think that... He's, I don't even know if he's in the game officially, but I know he comes with Strangerville. I think he may live on that, like, abandoned airplane lot, but maybe not. Um, and I think that he is, like, a handsome elderly man. And maybe not one that you would think to breed your Sims with for cute Sims generations. So, I, I want to do it for you. A girl. Oof, the sun is not looking good. Did I make a mistake? Is this a mistake? Maybe. This whole video may be a mistake. Who knows? One. Two. Oh no. Guys, I think I was wrong. Three. Oh no. Oh no. Is this even changing anything? Can I just do that, guys? Can we just like, just like, 
go with that that looks like an actual person and not like you know because like this is a video game so they don't have to look like real people but she really didn't look like real people also i'm 100 percent leaving her in those shorts that's so the vibe of her father okay let's take a look um Yeah, so remember how I said that I thought that this one might be the best one yet, and that George Callahill was really cute, and that I thought he could take me in an airplane, I thought it would be fun. Yeah, <laughs> guys, I think I made a mistake, and I'm a big enough person to own up when I'm wrong. Um, she would be cute. I like all of this, right? I like all of this. Um, but this, if it was even just like this, that's a cute sim. And then we could just widen the mouth a little bit. And, like, that's a pretty sim. Um, I, I like that sim. She looks good. But but the sims decided to curse her with no jaw. Okay. Uh, moving on. Let's, let's just... I don't like this hair at all. Take it off. Let's see some skin details. I think that skin details are going to just help her a lot. I really do. I really think that we're going to bring this back with skin details. Like, I think we're going to find a really good one, and we're going to be like, wow, she was beautiful all along, just like the other Sims. I like this one. I think that this does nice things, um, or maybe even, I just have no idea. I like this one. I'm going to go with this one, and then I kind of want to give her freckles. I don't know why. I just think that she, she needs freckles. Um, we haven't given a Sim freckles today. I like freckles on a Sim. I, I take after our... Our, our sim goddess Claire Siobhan and if she says she likes something I like it too so I like freckles um no I'm playing I'm playing but I do like freckles on sims she has beautiful green eyes so I think that we should like really try and hype up her green eyes and like make them the star of the show so we'll give her some like big old lashes um and some like I like the style she has it's kind of like carefree beachy maybe she's just like a little weird and wonderful which we're totally good with um, but I want to, I want to highlight those green eyes. So we should put brown eyeshadow, right? Is that color theory? Green would be opposite of red, maybe. We do red eyeshadow. I don't know. We want something that's going to make her eyes pop. Oh, I thought I just saw a good color and then, and then I did it. I missed it. This one? Ooh, see? See the red? The red? Do you, do you see? Makes her eyes pop? I'm leaving it. Um, and then her lips are also very nice. So I think that we can't really go wrong with lipstick because she has like very nice lips i like this one and then i kind of want to just go for a nude again leave the focus on the eyes um but maybe a slightly darker nude like this yeah see this is a cute sim this sim is cute i said we were going to go with it for an e-girl but i don't even know if we can layer e-girl blush on top of her freckle we can and it's adorable okay things are turning around they're, they're very quickly turning around this one's supposed to have a highlight, but I don't know where to find it. Um, I know I have, this hair looks really pretty on her. I know I have, oh no, the hair I downloaded with e-girl hangy bits is textured hair, which our girl cannot have, unfortunately. Um, I like that one though. I wanted to give her something that she could get highlights on. Which of my hairs come with highlights? Oh, this is the hair we're wearing. Oh, we did it, guys. We did it. I'm so smart. We'll give her pink hair. Yeah, pink hair? Is that what I want? Or is that not what I want? Very cute. Very cute. I like it a lot. She looks adorable. And then we'll give her like some e-girl clothes and she's going to be super cute. And um, no one's going to be mad. No one's going to be mad because she's, she's cute. I don't know if she's the cutest sim that we made today. Maybe don't have babies with George. But since I already did, um, <laughs> made a cute sim. What about something like this? Something alien-y. Ooh, I like these. Yeah, this is a vibe. She's already wearing sandals. Yeah, I like it. Um, and Lorna, Lorna, oh, Lorna's traits are going to be unflirty, non-committal, materialistic. Ooh, so she's kind of, whatever. Close my eyes. Eh. And close my eyes. Eh. Okay, so she wants to be fabulously wealthy. This is our last sim, Laura. Let's get a side-by-side -side with all of them, and we can decide. We, we're not even going to rank them, but let's get a side-by-side -side with all of them. So... This, to remind you, is our girl, Dana Pancakes. And I love Dana Pancakes. I think she's beautiful. Like, I really like her a lot. We spent less time on her than the others because I wasn't really sure I was going to do this. But I think that she's, like, absolutely stunning. Um, she is very beautiful. 
Then we did Alexandria Lothario. Again, gives me supermodel vibes. Um, she may be like, she, she's different than Dana. You know, she gives me different vibes and that's okay. Um, I still think that she is absolutely beautiful and I hope you guys like her. Then we have Lori Benali. Love Lori. She's kind of like our like punk girl, super cute. Um, everything about her is adorable. I could have gone soft girl with her. She gives me soft girl vibes maybe. So I like her a lot. Then we had Alyssa Moon, um, Octavia Moon's daughter. Octavia, a superstar. I love her. I think that she is absolutely great. And I like when she smiles. I think she has a really nice smile and like really nice full lips. Um, I like her style. We gave her a lot of being very like fashionable and whatever. And then last but not least, we had Lorna Callhill, who is also a cutie. Um, however, she did get that unfortunate Sims thing where she doesn't have a chin, which is very sad for Lorna. We love her nose. It's, it's very nice. And, you know, she's kind of got a little e-girl alternative aesthetic. So, guys... That is going to be the end of today's video. I think my personal favorite is Dana Pancakes. Sorry, forgot. Blah, blah, blah. I think my personal favorite is Dana Pancakes. So if you guys would like to breed your Sims with townies, I recommend Eliza Pancakes. Uh, but let me know in the comments down below who you think, which townie you think make the cutest babies. Let me know if you'd like to see a part two with different Sims and maybe we can do the, the boy Sims next time with some different people. Um, and just generally give me a comment. I love to read them and I think you guys are awesome. So thank you so much. Goodbye.